Kino user. Uh, we build plastic injection molds and also compression molds for the primarily the automotive industry with some uh, some consumer products. Visor core to overhead council, floor councils, door panels, headliners. This has all caused our uh, CNC needs in terms of machine size to grow and also in terms of CNC features in terms of has pushed us now to look at the multi-axis machine tools over just conventional three-axis. We chose the MCC 2013 on the onset of a large workload. We knew the machine had the cutting speed necessary and also the accuracy. Some of these tools that we had been awarded were for Honda and we know the requirements they place on tooling. You have to look at your mold manufacturing with a production machining mentality. That's what the A82 that we have has done for us in that we can now faster and more accurately produce some of our mold components. Having the two station pallet system of the A82 allows you to load and unload your workpiece while the next workpiece is in machining. This is, this is very valuable for us. With the A82 presented some different challenges for us of setups. One of the things with the Horizontal Machining Center or even an MCC is the amount of setup time that you have of how can you keep that spindle cutting versus sitting idle while you're, while you're doing setups. We were able to see that other peers were using a modular clamping system called FCS. One of the things that FCS and the fourth axis on our 82 have done for us has allowed us to cut components basically with two setups. The initial setup is typically done in a three axis machine in which we prepare the block and the bottom side of our workpiece. So the FCS holes are put in, in another machine then brought to the A82. Once it's in the A82 with the FCS, now we have the liberty to machine five sides of the block, one pickup, one setup, cut and done. For us to be able to service our customer, and service our customer I mean by making changes or making adjustments in the tool that we've built for them. There's times after the initial shot or the initial construction of the mold that the customer has tweaks, engineering changes and the like that need to be done to that tool. Typically you have a setup in your machine and now it's necessary to bump in on that setup. With FCS, with the pallet changing capabilities of the A82, a lot of times we're able to break in on a long running job, position engineering change on our second pallet, break into that long job, cut on the engineering change, come back and get back in that long running job. With our Makino machining centers we have had our customers challenge us with not spotting our tools after they're machined. With that we now are asking our machine tools, our processes, our cutting tools, our tool holders to give us that accuracy. We have, we have definitely seen a reduction in our, the time it takes to spot our tools through the use of this technology of machine tools, of laser measuring, of shrink fit tooling and the like. But the underlying fact is you need a good machine tool. At the past American Mold Builders Conference, I had the honor of receiving Mold Builder of the Year. The reason I was chosen was for my, for my past efforts in education relative to getting youth interested in the trade. But it's very important that we bring up that next generation. The youth that is needed is for these high-tech machine tools. What matters most to me in this business is to treat others how you wish to be treated and that goes from your customers clear through to your employees to maybe even the janitor out here on your floor. Uh, one of the things that CS Tools prided itself is attempting to 
provide our employees with the technologies necessary to do that world-class job of tool building. And we pride ourselves primarily in our employees and our service. We simply have tools to help us do the best job possible and Makino has helped us in that area.